Hi everybody, Alex Aplow here from Expert Forex and in the next few videos we are going to look at how you should be trading FTMO or proprietary accounts properly. Now every day we get inquiries about proprietary trading and robots that can be used for proprietary trading and I can hear from the emails that these guys have no idea what they're looking for. They're just looking for a robot that they can plug in and hopefully it will uh, qualify them for the proprietary trading requirements. But those requirements are very, very difficult if you do not know what you should be looking for. So I'm going to show you in the next few videos what to look for and how to find fantastic strategies that you can use for proprietary trading. And what's more, you will see that these strategies build in a huge amount of safety margin because you need safety margin. The market isn't the same every day. So you need safety margin to protect yourself from hitting those drawdown figures, but at the same time hitting the profitability figures. So let's have a look at today's video. So this is the typical screen that somebody would come to to trade FTMO and they would then join the challenge and I'd, hopefully they're doing a free trial. So this is where you would start. But let's have a look at the standards that are required to be met when doing proprietary trading. Okay, and so here are the requirements. Basically, I'm focusing on a, a, an account of 100,000 and what they say you need to trade it for 30 days and you need to trade for a minimum of 10 days and your daily loss cannot be higher than $5,000 if you're using a 100,000 account but and your maximum loss overall can never at any time during the trading be more than $10,000. And your profit target, by the way, is $10,000, which is 10% of your account size. And what's more, if you pay 540 euros, you can try that out. Now, remember, it's not only qualifying for the, for the trading. You have to continuously trade at a pretty high standard over a period of two to three years to be really wealthy, from proprietary trading and what I'm going to show you in this video is not just to pass this particular test but to trade for three years on a continuously on a continuously sound basis. Now fortunately the FEMO provides different ways of trading and they do provide a swing account. A swing account basically says ignore all the announcements, don't worry about weekends or just trade naturally. So that is the way you should be focusing, just trading naturally. Don't trade in a false way. And then what I'm going to be showing you in this course, the first thing you need to do is do a trial, do a free trial, it's free apply the concepts that you're going to be seeing in these videos to a, a demo account and you'll soon learn what it takes to become a long-term proprietary trader. Okay, the first thing to do is to change your standards and your attitude towards proprietary trading. As I say, most of the people that I speak to want to qualify to become a pro proprietary trader so that is certainly not the, the the standard that you should be worrying about you should be worrying about standards much higher than that so if we look at the standards that are being set here for FTMO 100,000 account you need to make 30 day, the 30 day profitability should be $10,000. Now I'm saying to give yourself a chance, you need to increase that to 20,000 because if you miss the 20,000, you are more likely to meet their requirements than if you're aiming for 10,000 and miss that, your money's gone away. Never see it again. So then uh, the maximum daily drawdown, they say 5,000, uh, which is 5% of the 10,000. I say reduce that, make your standard two and a half thousand. So you're, you are putting more uh, stricter standards on yourself so that if you miss those standards, you've got a level of safety so that you don't have to worry. Now, the next one is your total drawdown needs to be $10,000. I'm saying ignore that. S apply 
five thousand to your daily uh, to your total drawdown. So so the first thing is change your standard put make your standards much higher because they need to be much higher if you are going to trade for the next two to three years as a proprietary trader i'm not saying you're going to be trading at those standards for those next few years but that is what you have to have in mind and i'm going to show you that you can actually keep those kind of standards pretty high throughout that period now when i did my degrees and i've got a whole lot of degrees i didn't go for just the pass rate I went for distinctions because I knew if I studied hard for a distinction, I'm sure to pass. But if you only want to pass your exams, you are going to encounter extreme failure. So, so again, I'm just reiterating the importance of getting your attitude towards propriety trading right. You can't go by the standards that they set. You have to set your own standards, which are much higher. Okay, so let's look at the change standards that we were talking about. So we were talking about a return of 20% that was required, and we were talking about a maximum drawdown of 5%. Very important statistics, and now there's a lot of maths in, in, in Forex trading, and you'll find maths plays a major role when you start working with lot sizing, because lot sizing is actually the problem in in, in, in um, proprietary trading and finding a strategy is the easy part even if you have the most perfect strategy you will fail as a proprietary trader if you don't know how to lot size so I'm going to show you how to do that so here we go we uh, uh, we say we're looking for a return of 20% and we are looking for a drawdown of 5% now that means in other language it means your return must be four times your drawdown. As simple as that. If you can find a strategy where your return is four times your drawdown, bingo, you've got a great strategy. Or your return on your drawdown is 400%. That's another way of looking at it. Okay, so now again I'm saying, oh, those standards, we need some safety in those standards. So rather than go f going for four times, let's go for six times. Let's add more safety. Let's say that your Income must be six times that of your drawdown. Making sense so far? You don't want to go for the just pass thing. You want to have the ability to trade profitably for the rest of your life. So the trick now is just we need to find a trading strategy that produces six times more income than drawdown. That's as simple as that. And that I'll show you that there's hundreds of those strategies around. I'll go through them in the next few videos. So let me show you why lot sizing is so critical in proprietary trading. Now, here I have an example of somebody trading a 100,000 account and their goal is to make $10,000 as we've seen and to have a drawdown that's less than ten thousand dollars so uh, so yeah i'm going to actually start at the bottom here i'm going to say sort of the just right setup so let's say just and i'm using rough examples just to get the concept around i'm saying let's say this trader uses two lots to generate income of a hundred of ten thousand dollars and that income is based on a drawdown of seven thousand dollars so this trader meets all the requirements the drawdown smiley face the income smiley face but let's say the same trader uses the same strategy and gets the lot sizing wrong let's say instead of using two lots the trader uses three lots so let's see what happens so suddenly the income goes up nicely to fifteen thousand but He's disqualified because the drawdown is now over the limit. And although this is a fantastic strategy that he's using, he has bombed. They will bomb him. So the drawdown kills him and there's the really unhappy face there. But income is great and he loses his money. 
Then let's let's look at the other trade. And I, the other side just started. They want to be conservative, so they use slightly smaller lot sizing. One, they generate income of five thousand dollars, and they generate a drawdown of three thousand five hundred. So the drawdown makes them very happy. There's a smiley face. They haven't gone over the five thousand dollars, but they haven't met the income goals. And all we're talking about here is the same strategy being used, but the lot sizing is very specific and the the first example i showed you was just right it met the income needs and it's kept the drawdown under control so this is one point where the propriety trade trading firms know this they know people are useless absolutely useless at lot sizing people on the whole even the most experienced traders don't know how to lot size and that is why the proprietary tra uh, traders are making huge amounts for, uh, from people that have successful trading strategies but don't know how to lot size okay so that so that's the real challenge of property pr proprietary trading once you have a successful strategy which I, i'll deal with pretty soon w you need to learn how to lot size okay now Again, let me show you how to take the risk out of lot sizing. You need to know how to lot size, but you also need to take the risk out of lot sizing. So let's go back to the example where you are making six times the income on the drawdown that you experience. Now, what that does, it takes the risk out of lot sizing out of you because you can start with one lot. And again, these are examples. Let's say you start with one lot. You generate the income required and because the income is six times bigger than your drawdown, everything is happy. Happy face, happy face. You can go to two lots. Nice big income, bigger drawdown, happy face, happy face. Three lots. Income's good, drawdown's good, happy face, happy face. Four lots. Income's good, drawdown's good, happy, happy face. And then five lots. Income is good, drawdown is happy happy face happy face but then suddenly you get greedy and you put six lots your income is fantastic but your drawdown is bad so you so you have an unhappy face for drawdown happy face for income and although that is a fantastic return they will knock you because your drawdown was excessive so can you see the importance of, of, of lot sizing? Now, can you see how important it is to have a, a strategy that is six times more than the income? Because now you could be successful with the first five strategies. It's only the sixth strategy that, that, that knocked you out. Whereas previously, if you look at the previous slide, you'll see that you had to get it so perfect that uh, if, if you deviated by one lot on either side, you would be knocked out. But this one gives you all the chances of success. So the obvious uh, lot sizing that you need to choose here is the two. Because two gives you double the income that you need, but it still keeps your drawdowns well below the required levels. So again, we come back to the six times more than income requirement of a strategy now okay nobody has ever asked me what risk return ratio should i have for my propriety trading strategy so now you are in a position to say evaluate a strategy and if it does not have a six times income to drawdown ratio you cannot trade that strategy because it doesn't provide you with the safety net that you need over a two to three year period. Now, if you go for this one, if you want more safety, you go for three lots because it will give you a, a, a nice income and you are still 50% below the drawdown requirement. So you can play around with these strategies. There's five lot sizings that will work for you. Whereas in the previous example, only one. So now we only need to find strategies that meet that requirement six times more income than drawdown. Now, I've given you the one formula that you need to meet to be successful at proprietary trading. So now immediately go to the strategies that you were intending to use 
for your proprietary trading and evaluate them. Do you make six times more income than, than your drawdowns are? That's very, very important. Go and evaluate that. If you don't, maybe four times will work. But if you go below four times, you are skating on thin ice. Now, I hope you found this video interesting. And I hope I've taught you something about the importance of lot sizing and the risk return ratio when you are a proprietary trading. Those are the methods that we use to measure our success. What kind of lot sizing, what kind of risk return ratios are we generating with our strategies? Now in the description and the first commentary of this video, you will find some links to some of the products that we offer and also some of the services that we offer. We're certainly going to be pulling from those products and services in the next videos because we're going to find strategies that have six times the income to the risk involved. Now from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio, and I look forward to the next video.